Hey folks, welcome back to Financial Futures. I've got some game-changing news for you today. A new Social Security bill has just hit Congress, and it could potentially repeal Social Security tax. If you're receiving any type of Social Security check, listen up because 2024 might be the year you find yourself facing unexpected taxes. But don't worry, we've got you covered with all the details, so stick around till the end. And hey, if you appreciate these social security updates, hit that like button, subscribe, and a special shout out to our sponsor Yentio Go to for boosting your credit score. Now, let's dive into the latest scoop. So, Representative Craig has introduced a groundbreaking bill to eliminate federal tax on social security benefits. If you haven't been hit with Social Security taxes yet, stay tuned because this might affect you. Let's break it down. Before we get into the nitty gritty, make sure to rewatch this entire video to ensure you're not blindsided by a tax bill this year. Now, let's get into the main content. Representative Angie Craig and Yadira Caro have co sponsored the You Earned It, You Keep It Act. This legislation aims to repeal federal taxation on Social Security benefits, starting in 2025. A bold move indeed, considering the challenges posed by historic inflation. Now, this bill claims some big benefits. If passed, it could extend Social Security payments through 2054 and reduce the federal debt by a whopping $8.9 trillion over 75 years. How? by raising the cap for individuals earning over $250,000 annually. Representative Craig emphasizes that this bill is a win-win a tax cut for seniors and a way to ensure Americans can depend on the Social Security benefits they've earned. It's not just about fiscal responsibility. It's about putting money back in the pockets of the middle class. As we step into 2024, there's a potential tax nightmare for Social Security recipients. Last year's record high Social Security payment increase could lead to higher taxes for retirees. The ongoing inflation crisis might push more seniors into higher tax brackets. With over 66 million Americans collecting Social Security, the number of beneficiaries paying federal income tax on their benefits is rising. Experts predict that last year's 8.7% COLA increase might result in more retirees facing taxes on their Social Security income. So, what are your thoughts on these developments? Do you think you'll be hit with a surprise tax bill on your Social Security income this year? Share your thoughts down in the comments. And remember to check out our video comparing Trump and Biden's Social Security policies. Let's jump into our next topic where we're ready to shatter the status quo and revolutionize your outlook on Social Security. Hold on to your hats because today, we're unearthing a groundbreaking proposal that's about to turn the retirement game on its head. This isn't your grandma's Social Security, this is the future, and you don't want to miss it. Before we dive into the details, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. We're here to keep you informed and empowered during these challenging times. All right, let's jump right in. Today, we're diving deep into the thrilling world of Social Security, where a seismic shift is on the horizon. With over 71 million beneficiaries relying on this program each month, the stakes are high. Financial challenges loom, and lawmakers are in full swing tossing around ideas to overhaul benefits. But here's the scoop a revolutionary proposal is making waves, a 50% approach that could redefine how we view and experience Social Security benefits. Imagine the freedom of claiming 50% of your benefits at the age of 62, with the flexibility to pick up the rest at your own pace be it at 65, 66, or 67. It's a small gas board of choices, allowing you to tailor your benefits to your unique life journey. But hold on, there's more to the story. The 50% approach brings with it a host of benefits that could reshape the retirement landscape. 
Say goodbye to the earnings test headache. No more penalties for earning above a predetermined threshold. Imagine no more deductions from your hard-earned benefits just because you want to stay active during your golden years. This is about liberating retirees from unnecessary financial constraints, letting them lead their lives with the financial flexibility they deserve. Now, let's delve deeper into the mechanics of this groundbreaking proposal. The current social security system forces individuals into an all-or-nothing decision. But the 50% approach introduces a level of flexibility previously unseen, catering to the diverse needs and preferences of beneficiaries. Addressing a common concern critics might argue that this system could lead to reduced benefits for those claiming early. It's crucial to clarify that while claiming 50% at 62 might incur reduction, the remaining 50% claimed later would not be subject to such reductions. Additionally, this proposal addresses the long-standing issue of the earnings test, providing a breath of fresh air for retirees. Advocating for the 50% approach isn't just about numbers, it's about championing the freedom of choice. Retirement shouldn't be a one-size-fits-all model. People have diverse aspirations, financial situations, and preferences. The 50% approach recognizes this diversity and provides a customizable solution. That's the end of today's video if you enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.